What's up guys? Thank you so much for tuning in. This is Kim's Beauty Basics. This video will be a little bit different from other videos that I put on my channel. Mainly I focus on makeup reviews and tutorials. I'm focusing on a little bit of drama that's going on in the beauty community because I just felt like I wanted to address it and I felt like it needed to be said. So you've been living under a rock. On January 12th, Tarte confirmed that there was going to be a Shape Tape foundation coming out which is a version of their shape tape concealer because the tarte shape tape concealer is the number one concealer i believe it sold in the u.s and very popular everywhere else as well and just a favorite among beauty gurus in general if you're watching youtube videos there's a good chance that tarte shape tape concealer is being used so because of this obviously there was a ton of hype around this release so tarte had everyone where they wanted them people were ready to spend their money beauty gurus packages are being sent out and all is good in the world. And then, a couple days later, Pop Sugar had an exclusive look at the shades and the foundations, and they did a swatch test. Really? Really? So these were the shades that Tarte decided to release. 2018? It's 2018, right? Yeah. Yep, it's 2018. Just checking. So that's what they released and what was Tarte's response to the backlash that they immediately got when people realized they couldn't find their shade? Obviously some people could, but not a lot of people. Tarte's response was, I'm gonna block comments on Instagram and I'm gonna ignore them on other platforms such as Twitter. They're trying to delete comments pretty much as fast as possible or block comments completely. That was their response. Not the best PR strategy, I don't think, but okay. What happened next? was a couple days later, a rep from Tarte spoke to Pop Sugar again. What they said was, new colors were already in the works and additional shades are added seasonally. Which makes sense because your complexion tends to be paler in the winter and darker in the summer months. But please wear sunscreen kits. Thanks for the tip. Pop Sugar said, our friends at Tarte were honest. They explained that it can take time to get the full range finished and flawless. They need to get those warm and cool undertones to be exact. And then Tarte said, we're always pushing ourselves and suppliers to work as quickly as possible. Okay, that's fine that it takes a while to get a full range finished and flawless, but you released the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in 2016 and it became a hit all of 2017. So you've been working on this foundation, I'm sure, for at least one year and you decided to put it out with 13 shades of white, two shades a little bit deeper, which are extremely warm undertoned. To say that some complexions are seasonal is a slap in the face to anyone of color. So that was their first statement responding to the backlash. Their second statement, which came via Instagram story, not Instagram post, not Twitter post, not news article, not video, not YouTube, not anything like that. They decided to put in an Instagram story which does go away in 24 hours, so you can no longer see that statement by Tarte. So what they said was basically that the final shade range that they launched was not a full representation of all of us. And then they said, it may be a little too late, but we can assure you that this was not meant in any kind of malicious way. We just got caught up in the hashtag shape tape nation and seeing your tweets asking for it. Okay. They just said they wanted to get the product out as fast as possible and before all the shades were ready to go, they decided to move forward, which... What? They said they know there's no excuse and they take full responsibility for launching this way. They lost sight of what's really important in the industry and, quote, they said, For those who feel alienated in the community, we want to personally apologize. We're doing everything in our power to bring those unfinished shades as fast as we can at any cost. We can and will do better, in all capitals. One thing that's kind of weird is, is Pop Sugar can exclusively reveal that 10 more shades in the Shape Tape Foundation are in the works. And then it says these new foundations will join the 30 hues that already exist. Sorry, but it's 15 of the Tarte Shape Tape in the matte and then 15 in the hydrating formula. So it's really only, if they're only adding 10 more shades, then are they only adding 5 more to the matte and 5 more to the hydrating to make 20 shades of each of those because then we're really not making it much better because only adding five more deeper shades is not going to get all the undertones that they missed out on. So basically that's the gist of it guys. Tart, you messed up. You messed up. 
As a person of a medium skin tone, obviously I could go out and buy the foundation if I really wanted to. It might not be a perfect match for me, but I could go buy the foundation. But I can't imagine looking and being super excited for the Shape Tape foundation to come out and then seeing that I couldn't buy my foundation. I can't imagine that and I can't fathom how bad that would feel and how I would feel like my voice isn't being heard or I wasn't being recognized as part of the consumer market, which people of color are definitely part of the market. As someone that has bought something from Tarte before, I have bought the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I purchased this in September or October of 2017, so I was a very late to the party here. It's a little bit more expensive in Canada and I didn't know if I wanted to commit to that. But anyway, I caved in and I purchased it. When I heard Tarte was releasing a foundation version of this, I was very excited. And I even talked to some of my blogger friends, and I will shout out one right here, Caitlin. We were talking about it and we were very excited about it. However, when the shade range was shown, I immediately lost all enthusiasm and felt very awkward and felt very uncomfortable about the situation. I put the matte Shape Tape Foundation into my cart on TarteCosmetics.com. It was free shipping because it's over $50 Canadian. All I had to do was pay for the foundation. What happened was I basically left it in there for a full week or two now, I guess it has been, almost a week and a half. I am not planning on purchasing the Tarte Shape Tape Foundation. Even when they add more shades, I just don't really think this is something for me. I just don't feel comfortable with it and I just feel like they handled the situation extremely poorly. Tarte's a big company and I don't think there's any excuse for not launching a full range of shades that represent a good majority of skin tones. I can understand that you can't get every skin tone, but if you're gonna make 13 shades of light skin tones and two for darker skin tones, that doesn't make any sense to me. There's no excuse for that and you're a big enough company making a ton of money off this concealer you can do better. I also didn't like how they handled the situation. I don't think deleting, blocking, and hiding comments is really the way to go. In addition to doing things like that, they decided to bring influencers to Hawaii on one of their Trippin' with Tarte things. In doing so, they decided to start a contest which involved putting a palm tree under their comments section to win another trip. I don't know, win something. And you could see without a doubt that this was an attempt to hide the bad comments and backlash that they were receiving. I thought it was completely transparent, but obviously some people fell for it because I saw nothing but palm trees for a couple days. I really didn't like how they were trying to hide their mess up. It was, it was just so easy to see and it just uh, it didn't feel very genuine to me. Even their apology, putting it on a fleeting IG story doesn't make any sense. It doesn't seem very permanent. It doesn't seem like you really mean it if you're going to put it on something where it can be deleted in 24 hours and no one's going to see it after that. And I knew that they didn't want people to dwell on it. They didn't want people to see this for very long. They wanted to put it out quick for the people that were mad and that's all. I won't be purchasing the Tarte Shape Tape Matte Foundation or the Hydrating one. I just am over it. I don't think it's worth it. I think my uncomfortableness about it is a good thing. People need to use their voice no matter how big or small you are in this YouTube beauty community. I think it's important to advocate for what's right and really keep the conversation going because we need to push this beauty industry to fit us because we're the ones that shape it. So. Sorry about this huge rant. If you missed this controversy, then I hope that I brought you a little bit up to date because you can't find a lot of this information online anymore because they've taken it off. Some people will say that I did this video for views, but that is definitely not the case. I could have gotten way more views by just reviewing the Tarte Shape Tape Foundation, which I could have purchased, but I'm not gonna purchase. I'm gonna leave that thing in my cart. I am never going back to purchase that foundation. It just makes me feel uncomfortable. I can't do it. A company that doesn't think highly enough of people of color to cater to them or to make shades for them or think that they're just not as important is not going to be a company that gets my money. For right now I do have the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I do like it. I'm not going to bash it all of a sudden because the company is acting really childish and terrible but I'm also a college student and I can't really say that I can just throw this away so I'll still be using it because I have it but I'll definitely be looking for dupes and 
other concealers in the meantime because right now I don't feel like buying anything from Tarte. So that's pretty much it for me guys. I hope that this video made a little bit of sense and I hope that it wasn't too deep and too heavy. If you want to watch any of my other videos there's tons of reviews of different products, comparisons, and I give some tips and tricks mixed in there. If you want to subscribe I would love that as well. If you did enjoy this video give it a thumbs up helps me out. I'm just a really small YouTuber in this massive YouTube pond. Thank you so much for tuning in guys. If you have any questions for me just leave them down in the comments. Hope you're having an amazing day or night wherever you are and I hope to see you very very soon in my next video.